Hello folks, here's a quick video on how to install Angular on Cloud9. So I'm just going to create a new workspace and I'm going to create a workspace name. I'll just say test Angular workspace. Um, add in a description, whatever works for you. We are going to make this a blank workspace and then click create workspace. By the way, there's a thing out called Stack Blitz, which looks really amazing. They're just short of a couple of features, but keep an eye on that because I think it could be really, really good. Um, but in the meantime, I think that, you know, cloud base seems to be, or Cloud9 rather, seems to be an okay option. Anyway, it's creating a workspace. There we go. Our workspace is created. Now I'm going to type in NV, oh, pardon me, I'm down here nvm install node okay that's going to get us using the latest version of node if we do um, node-v you'll see that that's the latest version hopefully then we are going to do npm install g npm and the reason we're doing that is just to make sure that we've got the very latest version of NPM up and running. And now we are going to install the Angular CLI. So we do that by saying npm install g at angular slash CLI. Okay, now we're going to create a new Angular project, so that would be something like ng new, and I'll call this one um, my Angular uh, app rather. Create a new app. Okay, now I actually like to add this routing flag in. That's just me. You don't need to add that in, okay? But I like to do that. It's just the way I like Angular to be. So here we go. Okay, we're nearly there. So now I'm going to change into that drive. So CD uh, my Angular app. We're now inside there and we're going to uh, serve it up by saying ng serve dash dash host and then we're going to have 0000, zero, zero, zero then dash dash port 8080 and here comes the special bit dash dash disable host check and hit return okay that's looking good so now I'm going to preview this in the browser by going up to preview and then preview running application okay that's excellent now I'm going to just to prove that this is uh, all working as it should I'm going to go into app.component.html and uh, actually, let's break this screen into two here so that we can keep an eye on everything. So in here, over here rather, um, I'll just say hello. Hello you. Okay, here we go. So I'm saving it. And if you keep an eye on the right hand side, you'll see the auto reload works just fine. Anyway, that's us. If you enjoy this kind of content, then please subscribe, like, and all of that. It really helps, you know, it keeps me motivated. So I appreciate all of that. Good luck with your coding. I hope you build something amazing.